Hybrid systems are hot property in motorsport at the moment, but you guys were there right from the beginning, I believe. Yeah, I mean, in motorsport, we started with the uh, Formula One 2009 season, doing the HERS and now HERS systems for three teams today. So I've been present in this. Um, professional motorsport is fantastic for us. It really sheds technology that we can apply in the more autosport application. And this was a HERS inverter from the 2009 race season. And uh, now that we've been working at HERS since 2012, this is a, is a heat energy recovery inverter for automotive applications. So taking the technology from racing, from Formula One, and now applying it to sports car and in the next few years, heavy duty trucking, where there's significant carbon emissions that can be uh, removed. So it's a great benefit. And how far has the technology progressed in about a decade or so? Uh, it's progressed quite a ways. I mean, the, uh, this is a pretty crude inverter compared to what's built today. Uh, this is a Formula E spec inverter, silicon carbide. Um, this is 240 kilowatt. This was 60 kilowatt, and they're about the same, about the same weight. It's only slightly bigger. So, quite a few strides. The technology is moving from silicon power devices to silicon carbide in motorsport. Not so much in automotive because of the cost, but in motorsport, benefit of efficiency, size reduction is, is super important. So motorsport is really pushing some of that. It's one of the the, uh, the reasons that that new wideband gap technology is being mainstreamed is because it's proven itself in motorsport. Is that something you've also seen here at PMW over the three years that you've been coming? More products and new technology? But yes, I think the interest level though is what's surprising. So the first year that we were here, three years ago, got some occasional people come by like, wow, what is this? Um, yesterday, we were absolutely mobbed. I mean, we spent three or four hours in the afternoon with a line of people waiting to talk to us. That is, um, that's exactly what we're looking for, what we're hoping for for the show, but it, that's brand new. Uh, never had that many people at this show interested. That's more like the uh, you know the automotive show that we go to. So for you guys, a US-based company, it's absolutely worth coming across to Europe and doing PMW. Our company in particular, I'd say 80% of our customers are in Europe. You know, unfortunately, there's only three automotive companies in, in the states, and we're too small to service them. So in Europe, there are a bunch of very innovative small companies, and there's a bunch of people who who are OEMs, but they may build 10 cars a year. 40 cars a year, something like that. That's our that's our marketplace. So we're selling to them for road homologated vehicles. Uh, some of them safety certified, some not. Depends on the on the application. But um, you know that that's the production we get. And motorsport is the entree to that. You have to to have the performance to be able to be in a hypercar.